Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where we talk about skincare, grooming and sometimes hair care. So if that sounds like your thing, make sure you are subscribed. Today I'm going to share with you probably one of my favourite budget skincare routines that I've ever done of all time. Um, and every product within this routine is roughly about five to six pounds. I don't think I went much over. So how could this a winter routine? For a few reasons you'll see why, but a lot of this is going to do you through summer as well. And we have products you can use in the morning and in the evening. Evening. So we have an AM and PM routine, but let's get straight into it. So it is the morning now. I've just come out the shower. I've got wet hair. But what I started doing in the morning is I'm, especially in the winter, I use less um, foaming cleansers. So less cleansers that you have to, you know, activate with water because they can be very, very drying for me, even me with oily skin. These can dry me out. So in the mornings, I now use a micellar water or cleansing water, or I just splash my face with water as well. But recently, I've been using the Sukin cleansing micellar water. This has in it um, aloe vera and chamomile. So not only is it cleansing, but it's very hydrating um, as well as soothing. So I just soak a cotton pad with that. A good way to hold a cotton pad, I know this sounds really weird, but it's kind of like slip it in front of your middle finger and between these two fingers, then push down. And this way it just kind of like stays in your hand and you get like a better sweeping motion. Why am I rushing this? I feel like I'm in such a rush. I've got nowhere to go. As I mentioned, because it's the morning, I'm using a cleansing water. However, in the evening, I would use a foaming cleanser. So I've been using Cetaphil. This is their oily skin cleanser. I started using this because you guys were asking for a review, but I like this. I like this a lot. It's a very basic cleanser that does the job without over drying your skin, if used once a day in this way. Again, if it was the evening, two to three times a week as someone with oily skin, I'd exfoliate. I never thought I'd be, you know, praising a St. Ives product. I hate their apricot scrub with a passion. I think it's the worst product ever invented. But what I love about this um, blackhead clearing green tea scrub is that the uh, grains in it are so small. They're like sand. It's more like a buffing kind of situation. The blackhead clearing thing is a bit of a gimmicky type thing. Obviously exfoliation of any kind is gonna help clear blackheads and unclog pores. So this is a really, really good one to use as well. Next up is the toner stage and I do this morning and night. There are a few ways you can use a toner. And again, I'm using Sukin, a brand I never knew existed until a couple of months ago. And this is their hydrating mist toner. This has rose water and chamomile in it again. So both very soothing um, ingredients. Rose water is very, very good for like redness in the long run as well. I point to my, I've got like little red bits on my cheek. But there are a few ways you can use a toner. So in the morning, what you can do is spray it onto a cotton pad again and wipe on your face like we did a cleansing water. You can mist it onto your skin <laughs> and pat that into your skin as well. So I do that in the mornings. It's very refreshing in the morning, but in the evenings, I like to kind of make a makeshift mask out of my toners. And as long as your toner is kind of alcohol free and it's hydrating, um, you can do this with pretty much any toner. So I get some cotton pads. These are thinner kind of rectangle ones. You can get a normal one and just split it in two. And I'm gonna soak this with the toner. Then just place it on areas of like irritation. So this is a good kind of temporary makeshift sheet mask. We're not gonna leave it on as long as we would leave a sheet mask. We're gonna leave it on for maybe five minutes if that. When we take it off, we're just gonna pat that around. If you have a beard as well, obviously like misting toners are good to kind of get into your beard. Then you do your neck as well in the evening. So toner. Next up, we have a serum treatment kind of stage. And I'm going to be using the Ordinary's Hyaluronic Acid. And I think it's actually really good that you can get something of this quality product in a budget routine. Again, I believe this is like five, six pounds. Um, and hyaluronic acid is especially good in the winter. And hyaluronic acid is especially good in the winter because it works the best when it can pick up moisture from the air. Hyaluronic acid can hold a thousand times its own weight in moisture. So if you live in a very kind of like damp, countries and damp countries. It's good for you. If you live somewhere where the air is very dry, it's maybe not the best product to use. But we're just gonna put a few dots here, here, one on the nose. So not only is this a great hydrating product for all skin types, but it's also perfect for anti-aging. Very, very gently rub that in. 
So when I'm rubbing, I kind of just use like these two fingers because they're like the weakest of them all. I have very strong thumbs. <laughs> but then you can pat with these fingers as well. Yeah, so perfect for all skin types. Really non-irritating as well. Really unintrusive. It goes a little bit sticky, but once it's rubbed in, it feels really, really good on the skin. And you can use this day and night as well. Morning and night. Um, for my moisturizer, I'm going to be using Bulldog's Original 24 Hour Moisturizer. This is quite a thick moisturizer, obviously with the idea of retaining moisture for 24 hours. So not only is the ingredients in this um, great for all skin types, but the texture, although thick, oh that's nothing, although thick is very very good for all skin types and I'll show you why. Also you can see I'm applying a fair bit. Uh, uh. This product, despite being very hydrating, rubs in super, super quick. And it stays that way too, so during the day you're not going to be produced. And it stays that way too, so during the day you're not going to be producing excess sebum because of the thicker moisturiser. So it's great for people with dry skin because it's going to nourish your skin the way you need it to be nourished. Combination, obviously, as well. And then for oily skin, it's going to hydrate you without making your sebum and oils go crazy. Then during the night, what I like to do is layer this up quite a bit more. So I'll do one layer, then another layer over the top of it, so kind of like a night pack, um, a night moisturiser. Um, yeah, then I wake up with of nice glowing skin again cleansing water that off then finally of course we have sunscreen now I never ever skimp on sunscreen and nor should you and there's a reason for this I've tried cheap sunscreens um, for face and for body and they make me break out they make me feel congested they have an incredibly white cast depending on where you live here in the UK we just do not have the brands the manufacturing to make a good sunscreen for everyday use for the face and it's really sad because people do not use it I guess every day here but you really do need to use it in the winter as well it's a nice day today the sun's out it's still there so we're saving so much money on everything else spend a little bit more on your sunscreen it's definitely worth it. Um, my favourite one is of course this one. This is the COSRX Aloe sunscreen. I will be using a little bit less than I normally do because I'm not going out today. I don't plan to go out anywhere today. Um, but what I like about this is it sinks in really quick. Doesn't leave too much of a white cast. The little white cast it does leave goes within like 30 minutes. But it's also not mattifying and when people with oily skin use mattifying products, especially SPFs I find, and moisturizers. Um, it can make our skin go crazy during the day. So like midday, your skin starts to get shiny, all that excess sebum is being produced because you're pretty much stripping your skin of moisture. But this product is also good for people with dried combination skin because it is more like a um, moisturizer with some protection. Do you know what I mean? It's, it, I feel like its main job is to nourish and moisturize but has a very high uh, SPF. And then a little bit of lip balm, doesn't really matter what one. So it's grape flavor, so I like the taste of grape. <laughs> And then I'm going to do my hair, all that kind of stuff. Let me know if you want to see a, a get ready with me where I do my routine and hair um, and eyebrows and stuff. Um, I guess that's interesting sometimes. But thanks for joining me this morning. Um, I'm not actually going out anywhere now, so I'm just going to edit this video and stay in. And remember that just because a product is more expensive than the other, it doesn't mean it's better than that product. I've used a lot of crappy expensive products. And remember guys, don't be scared to experiment with more budget skincare and finding the skincare that's right for you. Instead, be scared of whoever that is behind you right now. But that's it for me now guys, I will see you next time.